welcome to the Sky Food Channel about edible insects with Onterino Surocco. Here you see five, no four, Onterino Surocco L5 stage caterpillars. Here a small one, freshly molted, the third one. Then here a bigger one, bigger one, and that's the stage they are in now. I will try to present them now a living potted plant like this one here and I will see whether they can live on the plant for the next two weeks and finish their life cycle while I'm away. In this cage with the plastic box you know that already um, it, it has some velcro tape around so this uh, mosquito net fits in very beautifully and the only thing we need are the plants. I have two of them. One is for a reserve also. So, and here is the other cage where I want to see how they have developed here. Looks good. The fecal pellets are getting bigger and bigger now and sometimes in the night when you have them in your sleeping room you hear the falling down of the uh, of the fecal pellets it makes like boom boom it's like a little uh, drum out of the cage of the Onterino Surocco the rhythm of the falling fecal pellets so let's see what we find here I mean yes also here we find some uh, freshly molted flower water, like this one here small and then they with eating a lot of the leaves they get bigger and bigger and at the end they transform uh, into they start building their cocoon and afterwards they pupate within the cocoon and that's the final stage of them so the leaves I take out here I want to keep the fecal pellets to to check how much of this leaf they eat here Oh, that, that's very nice. So here we have some really big ones also, I look like this one. Let's have it and see it under the... Yeah, that's a bigger one now. You see the how they are inflated while eating. I mean, the skin cannot grow in a larva. They, uh, it's, it's a larva is, uh, is all, only inflated. It's, uh, and this widens the body and the skin. So here is a plant that is, has only one caterpillar here. It's also interesting to see that Onterino Surocco is not a, a caterpillar that stays in groups like we see a lot of other insects that do uh, live in groups. Uh, they disperse very fast into the, to the leaves that you present them and afterwards you find them singly on a leaf, every caterpillar on one leaf. Here's one on, on the this leaf, then we have here on top this one, a big one on the this leaf, so they are, um, yeah, they are not in groups together like for example some your uh, routine. So what I do now, I empty all the fecal pellets into this box so that I can keep them and count them. I have already a lot of these fecal pellets here. It looks it's like it's half filled already now. So that gives us an idea how much of food we have to prepare for them uh, if we want to keep 10 or 20 or 100 of these caterpillars. So that's the can you see that? No, it's not very good because we have too many plants here. So that's okay. You have the hole here for the plant. And now the the potted plant is one is here. I want to try to put it carefully into this hole. And it completely closes this hole so the caterpillars cannot uh, fall down here to the box on the bottom. And also I think I have another of these potted plants. I tried to oops I try to one of this I can I see so fresh these leaves I think I can add them from one side so they can crawl to the potted plant later because you know 
uh, they should live here for two weeks uh, without changing of food. So I have to add a lot of food so that uh, they are not starving uh, here in this cage. I think it's like this. it would be not bad. So then we can close it and from and from these branches here I take the nice big caterpillars. Look at this one. Beautifully the color has changed now to a little more wine dark red. In the first in the beginning they are a, a little bit more uh, reddish. It's a whole group here. It's nice to see that they are uh, well here on the Antunus Lauro Cerasus. That's great for us in Europe because this plant we have all year long and we can keep on Terino Suraka in continuous uh, production during the whole year with this plant Prunus Lauro Cerasus. So look at this beautiful group here of caterpillars. I think not a lot of them have died. Most of them are still living and are eating this nice plant. If you want to see what happens in two weeks, if they really managed to produce their cocoon, come back and see. I will place another video when I'm back from China. Bye bye.